Welcome to the William and Mary series on Qigong and Taiji Chen. My name is Stan Rockman. Remember, this is a physical activity, and there's always risk of injury, injury in physical activity. But um, remember the principles we've talked about before: keeping yourself in your comfort zones, always some softness in your joints, staying balanced, focusing on your posture, balance, and breathing. And that 70% rule, only 70% of whatever you're capable of at this moment. Back in the day when computers didn't have a lot of power, sometimes people would overclock their motherboard and their processor, and overclock the processor, which would typically burn up the motherboard. They'd get really fast computing to do, do games really well, but they end up destroying the computer. We don't want to do that. We want to keep ourselves healthy. So we're going to stay in that comfort zone. Remember to get your feet parallel, shoulder width apart, firmly connected to the earth, connected to the heavens. Everything relaxed, ready, focus on your breathing, nominal breaths. As we said before, Qigong, that term really is, is, is not that old. Uh, at one time it was called Taoist Yoga. Uh, internal Qigong is, is Negong, where you visualize moving energy in your body. What we're doing is really Waigong, which is external movements that move energy in your body. Doesn't matter what you call it. One of the things that people noticed was um, the way that animals moved, non-human animals. And there's a story of a flood and the people didn't recover as quickly. Uh, they tended not to move around as much. I guess they were, they had lots of losses, were depressed and they just didn't move much. And they got fairly unhealthy fairly quickly. And people coming to help, and again, this was thousands of years ago, noticed that the animals were, were healthy. They were still moving. And what developed was movements based on animal movements. One of the earliest that I know of recorded Qigong sequences is something called Five Animal Sports or Five Animal Frolics. Again, there's different versions of this. There are versions that have long series for each animal. One we're going to do is a short uh, sequence that will introduce you to each of the five animals in this. And just get nice and squared away. You start off with your arms just floating up, your palms face down, your fingertips trail. As the elbows lead the way back down, fingertips trail, your hips go back a little bit. And this movement is another one you can do as sort of a standing meditation. Translates, uh, the Chinese word is qi shi. You often see it used as an opening movement in Tai Chi. Translates as opening the door or opening energy gates. And one of the things I hope at some point you feel in all of these sequences that we're going to do is some tingling in your hands or some warmth in your hands or your hands get a little red. About 50% of people feel it right away. Some of us, like me, took a while. And I still remember the first time I felt it, I was doing this movement when I was practicing in Young style, trying to get the opening. It's almost like your wave moving along. And then you're just gonna balance everything out. And as your hands come down, the first animal is a tiger. So you fold your fingers in, thumbs on the outside, like you have tiger paws. You're going to use your whole body when you do this. So move in, in your knees, you rock back just a little bit. You reach up, open your hands, and you grab and you pull down. It's like a tiger grabbing something to eat. So inhale up. Exhale down. Good 
going to do six of each. Balance everything out. Now you can do whatever number you want. Typically, the traditional Chinese way would be to do multiples of three. So you would do at least three up to maybe 18 or just however many you feel. I've had some teachers say you do an odd number in the morning and an even number in the evening. Again, whatever feels best for you. We're playing jazz. The next animal is a deer. So you're shifting your weight from one side to the other, keeping your weight centered over that foundation. So you visualize a pendulum swinging from the uh, way. It's going from the center of one foot to the center of the other foot, not going outside that foot. Deer oftentimes have antlers, so we're going to make antlers. Fold in the index finger, the middle finger, so uh, keep the index finger pointed up. Fold in the ring finger, the middle finger, so little finger and index finger and thumb are pointed out. And when my weight's on this foot, I step up with the other foot. As I shift my weight, I turn on that heel, and I get a nice twist to one side, and come back. Again, stay in your comfort zone, whatever feels best for you. Just exhale, and inhale. Same thing with the feet. When your foot comes down, it comes down very soft. Visualize yourself like you're on rice paper and you don't want to make a sound. When your foot goes in front, this, your shin's probably going to be about perpendicular to the floor. You never want you need to go beyond your toes in any of the movements we do either. Balance everything out. The third animal is a monkey. A monkey stealing peaches. There's a couple ways to do this. You're going to bring your hands up, making fists about just below your chin. Your shoulders are going to come up, and you're going to look first on one side and then the other side, which really kind of loosens up the muscles in your neck. At the same time you're doing that, you're going to come up on your toes, and you can either come up slowly do it quickly. Whichever one works best for you. Sometimes when I do it quickly, I kind of launch myself. So, Let's see which one my feet end up doing today. Come up. You look to one side, you look to the other side, and just relax everything back down. Inhale. And exhale. Balance everything out. Fourth animal is a bear. And the bear is had dinner and he's kind of massaging his abdomen. So you make fists with your thumbs directed towards your abdomen. Again, you're going to use your whole body as you make massage around your stomach in circles. You're also rotating your hips. Just 
Let's reverse. Balance everything out. One of the important parts in Qigong and Chinese medicine is massage. And it's massaging externally, especially massage around the kidney area. And we'll talk about why that is later. But um, you know, when we're doing the deer, you're getting this twist. And they see that as massaging internal organs. Um, they want things to move through in your digestive system to be uh, efficient. And also that massage, massaging your lungs helps with your breathing. And then studies on just the breathing aspects of Tai Chi and Qigong and found it to be helpful with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So uh, a lot of health benefits for these. The last animal is the crane. And we've used crane as a visualization standing on that one leg by the pond waiting for the fish to come by or the river. We're just going to balance everything out and shift all your weight to one foot. So you're centered over this foot, no weight in the other foot. Hands come up, bring that foot up. Other side. Balance everything up. We'll finish off with our standing meditation. So feet inside. The, there's two basic versions of shoulder width. Outside the feet line up with the outside of the shoulders. Inside the feet line up with the outside of the shoulders. Again, hips go back a little bit, arms come up. Elbows drop, shoulders nice and relaxed. All the muscles in your face relax. Breathe through your abdomen, make the exhale last longer than the inhale. Put your arms, drop down, float up, and you can visualize bringing clean energy into your body. Inhale, and exhale. 
Thanks for joining me. Stay safe, healthy, and well. And we'll see you next time.